students now let us understand that one more difficult question which comes in front of you that if in a exam a question is changed in a pattern a little bit pattern that if you are asked to write a program for swapping two numbers but here you are not going to use the third variable as you are used into the previous program that means you are not going to use the third container but only two variables will be inputted by the user that is a and b and you will manage your program in such a way that it will help you to swap the values now let us understand this let us start the code first first you will see and as usual you will start with a code with an html tag thereafter you will write here head and in this head i am going to write swap2 without third variable that means i am not going to use a c as a variable into my program let's see i have written here head that means i am closing head which shows that i will now write the program into the body section that means again this is an inline javascript i am writing here body bg color as yellow so my page will have a color yellow in the form see here next tag from me is form name is equal to p i should write an input into the form so a form tag is used and its attribute name is used i am writing the name as what p so that i can recollect the value in javascript as soon as the user enters the value by a way of program and this value i can reuse into my program for manipulation so there are many forms out of that form p will be identified and the value will be taken by my javascript now let us write a user interface here i am writing enter a value of a and then i am writing input type equal to text and name is equal to n1 that means input type equal to text will generate a text box for the user and the variable name of this container is n1 so when user enters the first value it will get copied into the variable number 1 thereafter again i am putting a br a tag html tag which takes me to the next line thereafter i am writing a message here enter value of b and thereafter again tag input type equal to text and the name of the variable here is no2 now dear students try and understand there are two different inputs one is taken by no1 and second one is taken by no2 no1 will be automatically assigning the value to a and no2 will be assigning the value to p thereafter again we are and now i need to write a code for button here so i am writing a usual code input type equal to button value is equal to click and swap now this value you can just only write swap also there is no problem click and swap is just i am adding a beauty to my text thereafter a very important thing which you should not forget is i am writing a name event on click here when writing the on click i should write on in a small case and click c will be capital rest of all the characters l i c k will be small and thereafter i will write a function name which has to be called to swap these two variables now let us understand uh, i am writing here function name and it is followed by two parentheses now students if you forget the parentheses the marks will be cut into the examination because the function will never work a function has an identification that it is always followed by a braces now this is a non parametric function i can say 
I'm not going to put any parametric value into the swap, but it identifies when a function name is enclosed with a bracket, automatically the compiler understands that the swap is not a normal textual value, it is a function name. Okay, now let's again put br, so I'll go to the next line and thereafter my form is closed. Students, if you write this much program, your form is ready now to take an input, but still we are again head up with writing the program for a JavaScript. Now, have you understood this? Let us proceed for the next screen. Let's go and play the next slide. Now students, we have to write a code which tells us that now we are writing a JavaScript code. So I should include a tag script language is equal to JavaScript. Thereafter, I should start my JavaScript with a braces. I should write here function swap because when I click this swap function should be called and the starting of the function should be followed with a braces. Here, I am going to put only two variables that is A and B. Don't get confused because there are two programs. In the first program, we have used three variables that is A, B and C. But in this program, we are going to use only two variables that is only A and B. I am not going to use C. See how beautifully it is done. I am writing here a is equal to parse int document dot p dot no1 dot value. Dear students, this parse int function is what? Let us understand. When you put an input into the form and it is collected by a variable, it contains spaces also. Now to remove those spaces and extract only a numerical value because later on I am going to add or subtract something. I should be able to do the arithmetical operations. So I need only extracted integer out of it. For that a document object model contains a pre-built function parse int. Now dear students when you write this keyword parse int the word parse should be in a small case. There should not be any space between parse and int word. They are not two different words. That is a single word and I should be capital. See JavaScript is case sensitive dear students. So you should not write it everything in capital, everything in small, but as per the syntax right now I have explained you and this will do what? It will remove or parses all the spaces from the container number 1 which is belonging to form P which it gets from document object and the value what you get contains the spaces they will be removed and only integer is exp extracted from it and this integer is stored into the variable A. Now let's go again to the next line. Again, I am writing your variable b and the variable b contains a function parse int document.p.no2.value. Here, this means that the document.p.no2.value has certain spaces along with the value which is extracted with the document object with the form name p. The parse int function removes the spaces here also and store only pure integeral value into b. Now here I need to show the result to a programmer or to the user 
that what the values he has taken up at the beginning. So I am writing your output statement document dot write value of a before swap and I concatenated with a plus sign over here. The next statement is again document dot write br. So my cursor will come down and next statement is document dot write value of b before swap and again I concatenated with b. Close the bracket. Again I am writing here document dot write br. Now student this statement will do what? This statement will show the examiner the values which are currently taken from the user as a and as b. You are just showing them the values. Now here the logic starts that when I write a is equal to a plus b. Let us see what has happened. Let's go back. I will show you something here with an example. Students, here there are two memory locations. One is A and second one is B. Suppose user enters 5 over here and user enters 3 over here. Fine. Now, just see the program statement. Come here. The first statement of my program is A is equal to A plus B. What will would have happened into the memory? When I executed this statement A is equal to A plus B, the value which was here, this value which was here, now will be replaced as what? Addition of these two values. So there will be an addition of 5 plus 3 and that addition comes as 8. Okay, but does the value of B changes? No, the value of B right now in the memory is 3. Now let us understand what will happen if the next statement is executed. Now what is the next statement in a program? B is equal to A minus B. Now who is assigned value? B is assigned value. And what value it is assigned? The value assigned to B is A minus B. Tell me what is the current value with you? The current value with you is 8 and 3. But when I say A minus B, what would have happened in the memory? It is 8 minus 3 will be assigned to what? B. So here it becomes what? 5. Here it becomes what? 5. Now, here does the value of A has changed? in a memory? No, it is still 8. So now when you write this statement, the value in a, pro, in a memory of a program is a, b is equal to a minus b. The next expression is a is equal to a minus b. Tell me what would have happened into the memory. Now who is going to change? a is going to change. But as what? It will be a is equal to a minus b. That means here my value will be 8 minus 5. That is how much? It is 3. And the B is not changed. It is 5. Sorry. It is 5. If you look previously, the user has entered 5 into A and 3 into B. But with certain mathematical calculation, as I wrote expression here as A is equal to A plus B, it has become 8 and it has become 3. Then in next statement, I have written b is equal to a minus b. What would have happened here? So, the uh, here, sorry, here what would have happened? Here the value 3 has come and here the value 8 has come. Thereafter, here the value 5 will be calculated and thereafter here the value 3 will be calculated. So, the first value was 5 and 3. When you said a is equal to a plus b, the first expression a is equal to a plus b what would have happened it is 8 and 3 when you said b is equal to a minus b what would have happened it is 8 and 5 because b will be changed with a minus b that is c, uh, here b will become 5 into the memory and a remains as 8 but later on in the last statement when i said a is equal to 
a minus b what would have happened now here the current values into the memory are 8 and 5 so here it will be 3 and here it will be 5 now see if you carefully the values are exchanged the 5 and 3 is now 3 and 5 into the memory i hope so you have understood how the value takes place and swapped into the memory i hope i am more clear into it now let us go back into the presentation here the values are swapped by writing these three statements i have not taken the third variable here document or write value after swap this will display a over here again the document dot write br will leave some blank space or I, it will come down to a next line and thereafter document dot write value of b after swap will be b will be shown to you so here it is 5 and 3 here it is 3 and 5 will be shown to you after you execute the program i hope so student you have understood this now let us really run this code okay so i have this code to save my time i have already typed the code let us go to the code window i'll go and find out the program which is here now let me execute the program okay so this is that program i will double click the program and let us see the output if i write here say 50 and if i write here say 60 click and swap as i click see the values originally was 50 and 60 it has become 60 and 50 if you want to see the code you can go here and view the page source this is your entire code as we have written just have a look to it once again we will repeat body bg color is there form name is given into this line the variable no1 with a text box is generated over here on the form your no2 that is we are going to enter the value of b over here then button we have written a code for button and on click a swap function will be called here the form ends thereafter there is a script language is equal to javascript which tells the compiler that the javascript follows here then i am writing the function keyword and i am writing the function name which i have written already here into the click event here dear students i have taken the input from the form but i have introduced some function which is known as parse int just to remove the spaces from the input so both the inputs are integerized and stored into a as well as b thereafter i am showing the values as an output before it swaps here the main logic comes when i write a is equal to a plus b if you have a look at this you will understand if initially it was 5 and 3 then it becomes 8 and 3 then it becomes 8 and 5 with this statement and then it becomes 3 and 5 with this statement here the original values are swapped we have not taken any third variable and thereafter we have written the output statement in document dot write i hope so we have made this program i hope with a cheerful hope that this was a very difficult program to write and now i have a feeling that you will succeed best of luck use this code and do your exam successfully this is a very good program and you have to remember till your engineering is there i hope so i am very much clear thank you very much for listening now let's end the session i say 